A reading from Matthew. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. All things have been committed to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Dear friends, I have been reflecting on exhaustion a lot lately. It seems to be the predominant feeling among so many of us. People are tired. We are tired. And I've been wondering about what we might do to find rest in the midst of a time in which so many things seem to be so exhausting. I'm struck by the story of Mary and Martha in the Gospel of Luke. You likely know it well. Martha invites Jesus into her home, and Martha does all the work of preparation and hospitality, while her sister Mary sits at Jesus' feet. This leads to a little intersibling hostility as Martha's frustration grows at Mary's perceived unwillingness to share in the work. As you know, Jesus responds to Martha's frustration by saying, Mary has chosen what is better, sitting at the feet of Jesus. It isn't because the work of hospitality is unimportant. Indeed, hospitality is a gift of the spirit, but perhaps rather that the place in which we begin is of greater importance. Mary begins at Jesus's feet. Our work comes from a place of first sitting at the feet of Jesus. I have long struggled with the verses from Matthew that I just read because I've often wondered where the easy yoke and light burden are. They too often seem hard to find. But I have also often skipped over the invitation before the promise of the easy yoke and light burden. The invitation when Jesus says, come to me, know me. In sitting before Jesus, in prayer, worship, scripture reading, and meditation, we find our burdens transformed. It isn't that there isn't work to do or burdens to carry, but that we are more able to live the life of faith because we have first been in the presence of God. There is work to do, good, holy work. But first there is this, an invitation from our good and loving God to stop and to sit and to be in God's presence. And in that sacred space to find rest for our weary souls. Dear friends, when we are tired, Jesus welcomes us to sit with him and in his presence to be transformed. May you find rest for your souls in the presence of our good God this week. In the name of Christ. Amen.